Huge developments today in the fight against Zika. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration issuing emergency authorization of a test for Zika developed by Swiss pharma giant uh, Roche. The FDA allowing Roche to skirt normal approval channels as it moves to identify new patients with the disease. Now this, as there have been more than 2,500 cases of Zika reported across the U.S. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And pharmaceutical firm Inovio announcing groundbreaking trials of a new vaccine for the virus in Puerto Rico today. That's where the CDC expects a staggering 25% of Puerto Ricans to contract Zika by year's end. Well, we are now joined by Inovio CEO, Dr. Joseph Kim. He is the man at the helm of development for this vaccine, and he tells us what to expect. Thank you, doctor, for being here. Actually, great uh, to be here. Clearly, speed is of, is of the essence. You are now beginning testing on a new vaccine. Uh, you're already doing it here in the U.S. and Canada, right. but now Puerto Rico. Yeah, so we already have completed the enrollment of 40 subjects in Miami, Philadelphia, and Quebec City mm -hmm. for the North American trial. Now we just opened up a trial in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rican trial is very interesting in that now we have uh, half the people, 160 patients, mm -hmm. receiving the vaccine, the other the placebo, and we can look at the, besides safety and immune, immune responses, we can look at the hint of efficacy of the vaccine. Why so wasn't there a vaccine in the first place? Well, until last year, no one really was concerned about the Zika virus. Even though it was discovered in 1947, it's just skirted around Africa and parts of Asia that were not inhabited by very many people. Mm -hmm. Now it jumped in 2015 into Latin America, Brazil, spread like wildfire mm -hmm. and now in the Caribbean and coming up to the southern parts of the United States. Now we know the threat it poses to pregnant women on their unborn child and, and um, but you're telling me that the, the, uh, you know, the dangers of Zika goes beyond that as well. It can have quite uh, devastating uh, uh, you know, impacts. Zika virus is a very insidious virus. It infects the brain and the nerve cells in our body. So especially susceptible are the unborn babies, but also it impacts the adults as well. So the, the birth defects, microcephaly, the shrunken heads yes. for the newborns is devastating. But also, it can also cause a Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is a temporary paralysis where you could just collapse and, and die because your lungs won't function. So those cases have also taken an uptick in healthy adults as well. So if all goes to plan and everything goes perfectly well in these, in these uh, trials and studies, how soon could this vaccine come to market? So it really depends on the spread of the disease. Mm -hmm. I think the government and the regulatory agencies are tracking that along with the vaccine developers. At Inovio, we're moving as fast as we could. Mm. So we, cl we uh, finished the enrollment of the U.S. trial. We expanded now into 160 subject trial in Puerto Rico. Right. That allows us to look at the early hints of efficacy. So who knows? We're looking at the... The, the, as early as 2017 to be in a conversation with the regulators to look at the refining of the path forward for this vaccine. Would they put it on a fast path like they have with Roche in testing patients? We would expect so. I, we can't, I can't speak for the regulators, but there's an all-hands effort to get a vaccine approved for, for public use, along with these diagnostic, which will go hand in hand. Would it be expensive? I mean, I hate to put you on the spot, but would it be expensive? You know, Inovio answers no, because Inovio is very committed in bringing a vaccine that's available right. and affordable to all who need them. So we're already starting our conversation with various organizations and agencies across the world, including our own in the United States. Very good. Dr. Joseph Kim, we're out of time. But thank you so much for coming here, and good luck. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.